In this video, we're going to take the points that are in the drawing already and create point groups based on those points that are in the drawing. To create a point group, what you have to do is you navigate over to the tool space in the prospector tab under point groups. You can expand it out. What is always inside of a civil 3D drawing is the all points point group. That point group contains all the points that are inside of one drawing. To create a new point group, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to select point groups, right click, and select new. Inside of the new point groups properties window, we can change the name of it. We're going to create a point group for all the points that have a raw description of GS. So I'm going to call the point name or the point group name GS. And you can apply default styles for the points that fall inside of this point group. So for our GS points, we're going to call them basic points and we are going to give them a point number, elevation, and description. Moving over, you can add point groups to an, a new point group. So you can say, I want to create a point group that has all the points, or I can have, if I had multiple point groups in here, I could say, I want all the points from GS and survey groups or something like that. And you would just have to check the box for any of the already created point groups. Under raw description matching, any of the description keys that we have in our description key sets show up here. And so I know that we have a description key for our ground shots. So I'm going to go ahead and select GS as a raw description matching. If you don't have a raw description that you want to select, but you want to include certain points, you can move over to the include tab and you can include points with numbers matching and you can select sets in a draw in the drawing or project points in a window, or you can just type out the points. You could type out a specific point or you could type out ranges. So I could say, I want point 3001 and I want 3003 through 3004. And then uh, if I go over to my points list, it'll have my GS plus 3001, 3003, and 3004. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out because this is just my GS points. Uh, you could also choose elevations matching, names, or full descriptions or you can choose to include all points. You can also choose to exclude specific points from a file. So you can choose points with numbers matching, elevations matching, names matching, raw descriptions matching, or full descriptions matching. This is your query builder for uh, how to find out certain points that you're gonna use inside of your include and exclude tabs. Then you have your overrides for how certain points are gonna be displayed based on this point group. Then you have the list of points that are in that point group and then you have the summary of all the previous tabs. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply and hit okay. And what you'll notice is that when I created this point group, because of the displays that I chose in my point group, it forced certain display settings for these points and it set the style and the point label style based on the group that it's in. So we have a basic point marker style and a label style of point number, elevation, description.